everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a new fractal tone tutorial for you and this is how to dial in kind of an acoustic simulator type of thing using your fractal units and an electric guitar. Now obviously the best thing to do would be to use an uh, actual uh, acoustic electric, um, something with a pickup and go straight into your fractal and then maybe use some sort of IR to enhance it a little bit. Uh, but this is kind of a workaround. For some reason I have this weird thing about wanting to find workarounds for things. I think the fractal universe is so, uh, it's so easy to find ways to tweak things. Like I have that Dumble Steel String Singer workaround. Um, just really like finding those things and being creative. Now I do have something uh, kind of comparable to uh, uh, acoustic. This is the uh, PRS hollow body tube piezo that is in for a little bit. So I'll be uh, using that to uh, kind of compare with the just electric guitar. Um, but thank you to my buddy Michael. He's the one that kind of inspired this whole thing. Um, he sent over these two presets. He's a regular gigging musician. He has a uh, acoustic simulator and also he has his regular electric preset and he wanted to mesh those together. So I kind of compiled them into one preset but this is inspired by that. So I'm going to take you to FM9 Edit, uh, once again using my Mike Lowell uh, TX Custom. These are some custom Lindley Freyland pickups. I think they're like Blues Special or Vintage Hots, I can't remember, but they're a little bit hotter. I have found that single coils work best for this type of thing. Um, humbuckers, not as much. But I also found that this uh, T-style guitar worked a lot better than my S-style guitars, like my Mike Lowell uh, SX and the uh, Silver Sky SE. Uh, so we're gonna be using this. And I'm gonna kind of bore you with a song, uh, Tenerife Sea by Ed Sheeran. Uh, a couple days ago, it was my, me and my wife's eight year anniversary. So this is the song that she walked down the aisle to. So it's just kind of been sticking in my head. So I'm gonna be playing that a lot during this um, tutorial. So I'm gonna take you into FM9 edit right now. Okay, so here is the preset that I have for you to copy. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the uh, amp block. So the amp block is the tube pre. So I just kind of took it as kind of a, a preamp and no cab block, even though you do see a cab block, we'll use that for an IR when we use the hollow body tube piezo. But here are my settings. Um, something I did find that really helps is to add a lot of this high treble um, just to kind of help simulate that uh, acoustic stringiness, I guess. Um, so I, I found that to be super helpful. But here are the settings, uh, bright switch on. Obviously you wanna dial the level into taste. Um, I really like the input trim up a little bit Preamp, uh, I set it to neutral just to give it a little bit of a lift and then tried to dial it in a little bit to where there's maybe a tiny bit of a bump, but not much. And then I went and did the studio tone stack. Um, I was just kind of sifting through tone stacks just to see what would get me that kind of that tone. And this one, it, it felt a little bit better to me. And then I think from there, I'll go down to the dynamics. Uh, I usually do like to add a little bit of uh, input dynamics just to expand the sound a little bit. But that is it for the amp block. Now let's go to the multiband compressor. This was kind of, uh, this was close to kind of the stock settings that uh, were sent over to me from my buddy Michael, except uh, one thing I did was I dialed the mix to around 60% just to get a little bit of extra dry signal going through there. If you go 100%, just sounded a little bit, just too compressed for me. And then let's go to the EQ block. Uh, this was the seven band constant EQ. So just copy the values here. Now, when it came to me, it was set to 1.0 for the master Q. And then I was just wanted to find something that would help uh, lift it and give it a little bit of extra body. Um, so I, I adjusted the master Q just a little bit. And then the 
reverb here is a uh, medium room and I believe I just set, left it at stock settings here. Uh, what I wanted to do is to kind of emulate uh, the IR that I'm gonna be showing you and just kind of like those room reflections. And then the main one is the large wooden room right here. And let's make sure, I think that's the one I was using. Yep, okay, large wooden room. Might be overdoing it on the reverbs, but uh, one of them is kind of doing most of the, the kind of room emulation work. So uh, here it is, I'm on the neck pickup of this T-style guitar. And for those of you wanting to try to play along, the G is tuned down to an F sharp. Uh, but here is the tone. So pretty, pretty good so far. Um, let's show you what it sounds like without the, the amp. So let's take that out of the equation. maybe without the EQ. Maybe without the compressor. And it does pretty well with like strumming too. So let's uh, get a pick and just the same chords. If it's too bright, just rolling back a little bit. Let's see. So there it is, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna change guitars really quick. Um, go to the SE Hollow Body 2, and what we're gonna do is just kind of uh, compare them. It's not not a super good comparison because I would like to be able to kind of splice these clips together, but you can kind of go back and forth and check them out. So I'm gonna be on the neck pickup here. Uh, the into the mix of the magnetic and the piezo or however you want to pronounce it with the volume on that all the way up and let's go back to the preset here let's uh, let's go ahead and do this sorry there's a little bit of hiss so we're going to turn off the EQ, multiband, we're gonna turn off the amp. We're gonna leave the reverbs. I'm gonna turn this compressor on and then this cab block is gonna be an IR I got from Worship Tutorials. It's um, a Martin uh, 0028. Um, doing some high and low cuts here. Uh, don't think I'm doing anything here. Oh, just a little bit of uh, vintage preamp. And then that is about it. Same uh, reverb. So let's go ahead and take a listen. Hopefully it's in tune.
not bad at all. Um, let's hear how it sounds without all that stuff. So we'll go no IR, no compressor. So it's probably clipping. So the IR definitely takes the edge off in. Add the compressor. But there it is. That's my kind of acoustic simulator preset. Uh, if you want to find some good acoustic IRs, uh, go ahead and hit up Worship Tutorials. They got a really great pack for the Triple O Twenty Eight. They got, I think it's a D Twenty Eight or a D Forty Five, um, but some really good ones in there. But uh, if you don't have an acoustic and you want to use like your electric, uh, give this preset a try. Let me know what you think about it. Um, if it sounds garbage to you, let me know. Um, obviously, again, it doesn't replace a uh, real acoustic guitar. There's something that electric just can't do, like that punchiness, uh, the hollowness, the stringiness that you hear on an acoustic. Now, maybe something that could get a little bit closer is adding some acoustic strings to this, which would be um, a little problematic because I'd have to recut the nut and don't really want to do it to this guitar at all, but just a fun workaround. So give it a try and we'll see you later. Bye.